guess who's coming to dinner? And so this week's sacrifice. This is this one's really close to my heart. Don't laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't laugh. Because Meek has already offended me by using music attached to the legend that is The Undertaker. And now, I kind of feel like I need to sacrifice WWE, and that hurts. It really hurts. But, more so than anything, I want to sacrifice the people who have released, who have leaked this transcript, this audio of Hulk Hogan going off on one. It has now come to light that eight years ago, Oh yeah, I said eight years ago. Hulk Hogan used some profanities relating to black folk that a lot of people are not happy about. I'm going to I'm going to tell you what he said. Hulk's daughter Brooke was involved in some kind of relationship with a black guy's son. And Hulk was not happy because he felt like he'd been doing all this stuff to get his daughter's career going and then she'd gone and She's had help or some kind of interaction with this other dude, this other billionaire who has a son that she started to use girl play with. Hulk says, I don't know if Brooke was French and the black guy's son. I mean, I don't have double standards. I'm sorry. Oh no! <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> you can't do it. I'm not making through it. I mean, I'm a racist to a point. French. Nigel. But then, when it comes to nice people in French and whatever, I mean, I'd rather if she was going to French, Nigel. I'd rather have her marry an eight foot tall Nigel worth a hundred million dollars. Like a basketball player. I guess we're all a little racist. French, Nigel. Before we talk about the racist part, have you not actually seen the sex tape of Hulk Hogan in it? Because he's one of the first people to use Michelle Chu's spray condom. <laughs> And he, sp he sprayed it on, did his thing, and he was like... <laughs> 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 so I couldn't resist that. Um, basically, what my boy Hulk was saying is, if she's gonna go out of a black guy, let him be worth some money. I don't want her to go out of a hood rat black guy. I want her to go out of a black guy that has some change in his pocket. And that's what he was saying. When your daughter is that blonde, that blonde, gotta be a little bit racist to <laughs> You just gotta because the blonde inside you won't allow you not to be. But he said, oh, we're a little bit racist. And we are. Yeah, we are. Figure, who do you want your daughter to marry? Right now, I'm asking you, who do you want your daughter to marry? See? You had a racist thought. You're racist. I was just joking. Us lot are not racist. But you see, you had that racist reaction. <laughs> You're thinking, I don't want it to be Jermaine from down the road in the tracksuit because... <laughs> That's what you were thinking. I'm not like that, but that's what you lot were thinking. Me personally, I'm cool with any colour. I don't know these. <clears throat> so, yeah. and the funny thing is, being that Jack is more of a wrestling fan than I am, but growing up, I was heavy into wrestling. Don't make fat jokes, so I said heavy into wrestling. <laughs> I was heavy into wrestling. And they could do no wrong. They, they're supposed to trash talk. This is what they're supposed to do. Wait a minute, bro. You're going to be in my... He says brother, he's basically pro-black, he's just, come on, every, every pro-black activist you know, they, they, they talk to each other, yes brother, you know brother, that's how he talks. I knew he said the n-word behind closed doors, I can, you can just tell, you can tell, but he uses it in a way where it's like, that old racist dude that you think, nah, he's just old and racist, isn't it? What we really need to be talking about is the fact that Brooke would get it, Brooke, that's, I, I'd be a bit, I, I'd be a bit like that too if my daughter was Brooke, Brooke would get it. And he knows, you know why he knows? Because he dated a girl one year older than her that looked exactly like her. So maybe it's more than... <laughs> so even he knows Brooke would even, get it. Even he knows Brooke would get it, brother. To, to a degree, I understand that WWE being the company that they are, they have to protect their image and try and distance themselves from how people are now going to perceive Hulk Hogan. It doesn't matter. Like, he was fired over this. They have terminated his contract. And that doesn't make sense. When you think wrestling, you think Hulk Hogan. His name is synonymous with wrestling. He changed the game in so many ways. So firing him now doesn't mean anything. And what makes it worse is that this was eight years ago. He said these things eight years ago. And what I think people aren't... Like, you can be upset about him saying the word. However you feel about it, that's your opinion, that's your business. But... 
What we're not considering is the context in which he was using it. He's, this is his daughter, he's angry. As Screw said, who do you really want your daughter involved with? Regardless of what color they are, who do you want your daughter involved with? The person who is noteworthy, so to speak, or was it Jermaine down the road in a tracksuit? He, he is, he's angry, he's very clearly angry, and he's very upset, he feels betrayed by his daughter, and he is, he's upset about the situation. But it was eight years ago. It was eight whole years ago. Just let it go. Because the reality is, it doesn't matter who said what. Because you know something, brother? There's still a nation of Hulkamaniacs who are going to stand behind this man no matter what he does. So it's unfortunate that Hulk Hogan's been fired, I guess. But at the same time, it has put him in a unique position. This isn't a joke, by the way. It's put him in a unique position where he's no longer associated with this super friendly image of the WWE where they've gone like full reversal and there's no more blood and there's no more gore and there's no more swearing and it's just totally PC, child friendly, big muscle bound men beating up big muscle bound men. So he could do a Jay-Z on WWE and title the situation and create the brand new, <laughs> he could go back and do WWF or WWW Hulk Smash and then trade up a whole new set of wrestlers and just come out with like an R rated wrestling franchise that you know really beat people up kind of like the UFC but run by Hulk he's in he's in that position sex tapes as the intro videos oh. <laughs> chew sprays also chew sprays I think it should be called chew spray chew I think spray sounds dope boy. I think that's a catchier chew spray they can have like Michelle themed <laughs> matches <laughs> like where it's the first person to seal the other their opponent <laughs> Wind. That's a, bro, that's a good point. Like, if she uses it like breast spray, like, you don't, you don't need to put a condom on when she gives you head. What, what makes it really interesting is think about how many people use that kind of language all the time and they mean it from the bottom of their heart. Like, just Hulk is, he's, just, he's a real American. And. <laughs> that was a that. <laughs> and you know what's you know what funny because I, I saw this thing and, and as Screw mentioned this as well it was just like it was like a promo that he was he was ready to go to Wrestlemania and battle with this guy's son he was just telling him about what's going to happen that's what it was we're just not looking at it right the wrestling fans understand that, have you noticed that no wrestling fans are angry <laughs> have you noticed there are no angry wrestling fans the people who are angry, the wrestling fans who are angry, are angry that Hulk has been fired. Nobody who is involved in wrestling is angry that he said those things. Because one, it was eight years ago. Two, it doesn't matter what he said. And three, he just had a Hollywood Hulk Hogan moment. People are angry because at the moment he's in his red and yellow persona. And for a second, eight years ago, he went black and white. And people weren't ready. Free Hulk, that's what I'm saying, free Hulk. <laughs> <laughs>